More than 150 people laced up their running shoes to climb up a tower here in the city of Tampa. It was all a part of an honoring of first responders from 9-11. Our own News Channel 8's Paul Mueller was there for everything. Well, that climb here at the Tampa City Center, take a look right there, 41 stories and nearly 600 steps. They lined up one by one, first responders ready to climb the stairs. Then it was Sally Siller's turn. It was my wedding anniversary this weekend, my 27th wedding anniversary. Her husband, New York firefighter Stephen Siller, is here in spirit. Each day is bittersweet because I'm so grateful that I had Steve. And, but to live without him is so difficult because I know what a gift he was to the world. In the last minutes of his life, Siller strapped on his gear and ran three miles into the towers. He'd leave behind Sally and their five kids. Fellow first responders know the dangers of the job all too well. We all know in the back of our mind we're going into a dangerous situation. It could be it. But the climb not just for first responders. People like Cindy Williams, who had family members in the towers that fateful day, fortunately, they got out alive. I um, feel so emotional for the people that would love to do something like this, but they're not here anymore. Sally knows it's people like Cindy who helped to keep her husband's memory alive. The people who remember and the volunteers are the ones who sustain us and keep us moving to the moving to the future to help people. The money raised to build smart homes for severely injured veterans. The runners, including Sally, eventually making it all 41 stories. They all did it, and there's no doubt Stephen would be proud. Now, if you'd like to take part in future climbs or any of the 5K races or simply donate money, just log on to our website, WFLA.com. We put all the information you need to know right there. In Tampa, I'm Paul Mueller, News Channel 8.